Pat, uh, in general, what's the transition been like for you so far? Uh, it's been really easy for me. I mean, I think the coach has made it really easy on me. The guys have been great. So um, anytime you step into a new locker room, it's going to be an adjustment. But we have a lot of new guys. So um, I think everyone's trying to figure out their, their role. And so it's been a pretty easy transition for me that way. Can you talk about uh, the process that led you to pick Northwestern? Yeah, I had, um, you know, I figured out probably my freshman year of college that I knew I was going to try to play basketball again. And so, um, you know, I didn't really know what that would look like, but I knew a fifth year was a possibility. Um, and so after my junior year, I think I really started to realize that I was going to try to play again. And so senior year hit and I had worked some contact with my former high school coach um, and then a few other coaches as well that had coached at the college level for some time. And they really helped me get in contact with a few schools and just figured what would be the best fit for me, um, only having one year. And so, you know, I had a lot of different people helping me along the way. What was it about Northwestern that tipped it in for you? Uh, I just think the opportunity to come in with a new team, I think they had a lot of pieces moving. And I think the ability to come in and hopefully have an impact was really important for me. Uh, only having one year, you know, I didn't want to go somewhere where I was going to have to really you know, ride the bench for some time and then hopefully get on the floor. I think I wanted to come in and have an, an initial impact. And so um, coach had mentioned that there was an opportunity for me to hopefully get on the floor right away. Um, you know, obviously if I do everything on my end. And so that was, that was ap appealing to me. Is uh, that happening the way you see it so far? Uh, yeah, I think it should. Um, we'll see though, you know, I think we got a lot of talented players. I think we're coached pretty high on the fact that we're 10 deep. And so, you know, I think everyone's going to be able to contribute in some way, um, some more than others, but you know, I'm, I'm going to find my role as this season progresses and hopefully contribute as much as I can. Yeah, it's kind of a trite question, but how does what you learn in lacrosse translate to what uh, you might need to do out here in Division One basketball? Yeah, I just think from a competitive standpoint, I've, I've always had that edge. Um, as far as basketball itself, I think the spacing is very similar to lacrosse. I think the objectives are both very similar. Um, you know, a lot of people aren't familiar with the game of lacrosse as far as the spacing and things of that nature, but um, you know, they've always been a real, real easy crossover for me, going back and forth between both of them. Gotcha. Um, do you see yourself, you know, as a fifth-year guy, regardless of the fact that you're new to the program, uh, as a person who can kind of help some of these young guys in terms of what it's like to compete at a D1 level? Yeah, I think so for sure. I think that's part of the reason why Coach brought me in. You know, I think he, he saw my competitive edge, my competitive nature as a whole on the lacrosse field, and I think he wants me to bring part of that to this young group. We have a lot of really inexperienced guys. Um, you know, even the young guys that are here now didn't all really play a vital role last year either. And so um, anytime you have that many new pieces stepping into a role, you want to have some foundation, um, somebody to lean on as far as the competitive nature and someone who's been there and done that. Has there been anything that's uh, been more difficult than something else in terms of you know trying to get back your basketball legs under? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I cut a little bit of weight, which is what I wanted to do. I told Coach that coming in, I think that's probably the best thing for me as far as getting up and down and getting in shape. Um, you know, I didn't need to be where I was as far as lacrosse. Lacrosse is more of a physical game that way, and I was able to use some of that size to my advantage. Still will be able to use a little bit of size at the guard position, but um, cut a little bit of weight, which is what I wanted to do. And I think just getting back into the transition, just getting my, my basketball leg back as far as comfortability playing the game. And, um, but none of that went away. I played four years, even though I was playing lacrosse. I played in summer league, and so I've always got my hand in it. Gotcha. So, uh, you know, Northwestern's offense, and that motion offense, uh, doesn't lend itself to a lot of physicality, and I think maybe they've been missing some of that, you know, in the past couple of years. Yeah. Is I that something you can bring, you think? Yeah, I think there are definitely opportunities for me to use my size. Um, you know, I feel like at the point guard position, I'm going to have a size advantage on a lot of different guys throughout the league. But, um, you know, at, at the same time, there are some other guards that are pretty physical as well. So. Um, yeah, similar to lacrosse, to take what the defense gives you, play your game, and um, definitely we'll, we'll use the physicality piece of it. As a guy who's had all this experience in athletics at this level, uh, see yourself having any butterflies on opening night? Nah, yeah, I, I've always been super competitive. I don't, I don't get nervous for games or anything. I just I'm confident in what I do, and hopefully it transfers over. I, I don't really stress about that stuff. I just play my game. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Oh, see you. Good luck. Thank you. Pat, what's the process been like for you transitioning from getting into lacrosse shape into basketball? Uh, I think 
I had mentioned before, I think just cutting some weight was, was ideal for me. Um, I think also just getting back in shape of getting up and down every day. Um, but lacrosse got me in great shape. I, I think I ran probably a little bit more in the all season for lacrosse than I did for basketball, believe it or not. So um, coming in, I didn't feel like I was out of shape. I was coming right off the season, so I felt like I was still in pretty good shape. Um, but just getting those basketball legs back of getting up and down every day. How important are these early games with such a young team to get some gel going, get some chemistry going on the floor? Yeah, I think it, it's very important. I think, you know, we have a really young group, a lot of guys who haven't played. Um, you know, we had a guy who redshirted last year. We had some guys who played some minutes last year, but didn't really have extreme roles. And so I think everyone, that's the exciting part about this group, is everyone's kind of finding their new role for this team. And so um, these first you know, 13 or so out of conference games will be really critical for us. What are you most looking forward to? Last season that you get to play Big Ten basketball, you're just looking forward to? Yeah, just the competitive atmosphere. I think that's what I signed up for. You know, I, I could have played at some other places, but I think the important part for me was the platform here and the ability to compete against the best players. That would be exciting. Are you getting anxious for next week? Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Everybody is. Uh, how have practice been going, and uh, are you seeing some good things from uh, young basketball? Yeah, I think practice has been going well. You know, we've been trying to build our habits. Uh, you know, we got a lot of new guys trying to learn the system, um, and I think we made some strides. Um, so, yeah, we're improving every day, coming with the uh, attitude to attack the day, and it's been going well. You know, uh, with a year of competition here under your belt now, what are your expectations for yourself as you get ready to wrap this thing up? Um, like you said, I, I played in the Big Ten. I was playing the ACC for two years. Um, pretty high level basketball. Uh, kind of know what it takes to win. Um, kind of know what we need to do as a team to uh, get over the hump, win some games, win the close ones. Uh, every possession matters. So, you know, early in the game, if you miss a couple layups or uh, make some easy mistakes on defense to give the other team easy points, Later in the game, you'll pay for that. So just trying to pay attention to details and uh, take what I've learned from the past and give it to the guys. Do you uh, see yourself playing a more comfortable role for you? I don't know how comfortable you were handling the ball as much as you yeah. did last year. Um, I think last year playing point guard actually helped me uh, expand my game. Um, I hadn't played since high school, so having the ball in my hands taught me how to make plays and think with the ball in my hands. I think this year um, I'll still do that at times while also running the wing. Um, it's my natural position, um, so yeah. I was just thinking, you know, when you came in, you came in kind of as a shooter. Yeah. And handling the ball and running the offense to, doesn't really always lend itself uh, to good shooting percentage. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think, I think uh, when I was at BC, I led the, I was first in the conference, but also, uh, I'm not sure the exact rate, but pretty high in the country in assist to turnover ratio. So. I was able to take care of the ball and make smart plays. Um, but like I said, it helped me learn how to create putting the ball on the floor. So. Um, as an elder statesman on this team, uh, who have you seen among the newcomers that uh, kind of opened your eyes a little bit? Um, I think uh, Pat Spencer. I know he's he's not a young guy, but he's <laughs> he's new to basketball, hasn't played in four years. Uh, he, he's shown that uh, that mentality of being, you know, I don't know much about lacrosse, but one of the best ever to play lacrosse. Uh, translates to the basketball court. So he's been helping us a lot, but all the young guys, really the, the entire class, they've shown strides since they've been here in the summer. Um, and I'm excited to get out there and, and the lights come on with him. What kind of a player is Spencer? Um, super competitive. He's probably the most competitive player I've ever been around. Um, super passionate. Uh, he's just, his IQ is, is very high. He knows how to make plays. I think that probably translates from the cross as well. He's pretty good at assisting. Um, and scoring, but um, yeah, he's a, he's a good player. He's a pleasant surprise for sure. So what do you think his strengths as an actual basketball player would be? Uh, I'd say his playmaking ability. Um, he's really good at putting it on the floor, driving, attacking, uh, probing in the lane, making plays for other guys. Uh, he's also really athletic. I think he has like a 40, 40 to 42 inch vertical. Um, so he's athletic, can make plays for others and himself. Yeah, is he. Um kind of a, a guy who can set an example for some of the younger kids in terms of what it's like to really go out there and compete? Um, I think so. I mean, even though he hasn't played basketball uh, at this level, I think, like I said earlier, just competing at the highest level of lacrosse, um, winning the award, his team going to the championship year after year, it just kind of brings a mentality um, of winning 
and knowing what it takes to compete every day. And I think that's what he brings. Now, one more for me. Um, you guys, the expectations are not high for this basketball team. Do you kind of try and turn that around and use it to your advantage? Um, yeah, I mean, outside looking in, uh, you know, I'm sure people see we have a bunch of young guys, um, not too many leading or returning players who had like large roles last year. Um, so from the outside looking in, I can see how everyone would have us pick last or not doing that well. But we use it as motivation, uh, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, change the narrative, go to work every day knowing that, you know, there's really no pressure on us. You know, teams aren't expecting much from us. So then when we show up, um, just play, play our heart out. Enough, man. Thank you.